It's a week after testing positive for coronavirus, Super Eagle striker Paul Onwachu has fully recovered and has now tested negative. Onwachu's Belgian club, KRC Genk, confirmed the striker's recovery on Thursday, adding that he can now resume training with the rest of his teammates having been placed in isolation in the past days. Onwachu missed the club's last training match, but the team head coach, Hans Wolf, said he would be available for its next warm-up game. Anwachu became the second Nigerian footballer to contract the virus after Akban Udo in February. Joining us live is Jide Alabi, a sports analyst. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome. Hi, good morning. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to be here. It's good news coming from Anwachu. What would you say is the implication of this to the sporting world? Well, it's fantastic news. Um, this simply tells everybody, sends a very good message that uh, COVID-19 is not a death sentence. It simply means that um, um, there is serious hope that if you have it under good medical uh, treatment, you can get better again. So it's a very good news, not just for the player, not just for the club, but for the entire sporting world. Okay, is it okay to presume that the rigorous exercise engaged by sportsmen and women, especially footballers, helps with the recovery process? Well, it could be part of it, but, but realistically, if you look at those other people who are not sportsmen and women who have been admitted, and uh, we've seen cases of so many of them being discharged, even in Nigeria, and that they have nothing to do with sport. So I, I just believe that it depends on the level of infection of this, uh, you know, very dangerous uh, disease. Luckily for us, uh, he, he, he came to Nigeria, went back, he was tested, he tested positive, he was treated, and as well. So most importantly is the fact that he, 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 he kept victorious over COVID-19. Okay, and we can also see that he is reuniting with his club without any form of stigmatization, just like Arsenal's manager, um, Ateta. What would be your message against stigmatization with regards to COVID-19? He simply tells us that we should chunk out more and more information, especially about those people that recover. But what you hear most of the time, uh, the uh, 200 and something infected, 2,000, 1,000 across the world. Uh, there's always less emphasis on those people that recover from this disease. So uh, in order for us to uh, ensure that people are not stigmatized, let's ensure that, you know, we we also bring out information that will help those people that, were re that recovered from the uh, disease, uh, you know, to, to get back to the society. Okay, and, and lastly, just before you go on a lighter note, I believe, um, you know, your quick thoughts on Nigerians who are still uh, thriving, you know, um, in um, uh, leagues in Europe, even during the COVID-19. Um, I know, you know, that there's a lot of them who have been put under a lot of pressure to prove themselves in, in their clubs. Um, and so now that the season is, or well, most seasons are just about ending, uh, what would you quickly say about how they are fared so far? Well, so far, so good. Um, uh, for Osimian, one one of our best right now is 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 definitely uh, out of Lille and of course back to Italy, and uh, we, we we are looking forward to what it's going to bring to the party, you know, back there in Italy. But for other Nigerian players, so many of them have been home. Some of them were caught up here before they were taken back, and uh, they've been back in training. And good for us, most of our players are so young at the moment, so you should expect this stuff for them. We should them the best of them. Uh, you know that for as long as the players are doing well out there, super equals of Nigeria would do well. So we're also looking forward to uh, these are young lads who have rested for about three months. They start banging the goals and doing very well on the field up. Thank you very much um, uh, to our sports analyst, uh, Jide Alabi, for your time this morning. Um, we hope to speak with you again. Do stay safe. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Always.